like a freedom so Now I'm getting on yo To keep the bag and I sleep yo Them hating girls I'm guessing I know what's making them get over me Irore, 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 tete Oh my god oh my god social media social media social media i seen that there's never a dull moment on social media honestly guys if you're looking if you are bored and you just want to get just want to have some fun or you just want to laugh just go on social media okay we're gonna have our intro and when we come back we're gonna dive on today's topic okay so see ya oh my god this is crazy <laughs> Social media has had a great impact on our modern society. It has transformed the way we share information, consume media, and increase connectivity. However, it has had a negative impact as well, such as misinformation, the amplification of you know, uh, what is it called now? Hate speech and whatnot. So let me officially welcome you guys to today's video. Hey guys, my name is Mercy Dari. I am a Cameroon-based content creator. If you are new here or you're a new viewer or you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for choosing to click to watch today's video. If you haven't subscribed or joined the family, please do exactly what you see on the screen by clicking on the red subscribe button. It is absolutely free. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you end up enjoying it, okay? And I would love to you know have you around all the time and by doing so all you have to do is go ahead and click on all that is after clicking on the red subscribe button so that, that way you don't miss out on any of my new uploads okay each time i put up a new video here you're gonna get notified and that way you're gonna stay glued to the channel thank you this video is one of those videos that i never i'm not the type that will put up stuff like this but when it comes to someone i really love for example Yemi Alade. Yemi Alade is a Nigerian artist. I love her. I love her style. I love her fashion. I love her. If I can just love everything about this woman, okay, even when she goes ahead to do her hairstyles or her outfit, it's always related to Africa. It's always related to the African woman. So I just love the lady. I love her body type as well. <laughs> so recently she put up a post both on instagram and twitter okay so i'm not a twitter fan i don't have a twitter account i actually saw this particular comment on a blogger and seeing somebody that i follow all the time so i decided to go on instagram at least i have instagram <laughs> so i went there and i found the same thing i was like oh my god thank god at least now I'll be able to understand where this tweet is coming from now, the bloggers post I saw it was just one picture so if you go to her Instagram page okay official Yemi Alade official you're gonna see this post I'm gonna I'm gonna be talking about here in today's video so that is what this video is all about so in the comment section I would like us to communicate I would like us to interact because one thing about social media is that they tend to make people feel like they have to do everything perfectly guys we are humans we are prone to mistakes we are bound to make mistakes as humans except you are a supernatural being that you will not like mistake is far from you hell no as long as you're a human you must make mistakes okay but in this case it was not a mistake it has nothing to do with CCME making a mistake or whatever it's all about fashion fashion is becoming something else nowadays and as an artist you're gonna go crazy you're gonna do those styles that make people talk okay well you know <laughs> when you have fans we have a very huge fan base people have their opinions which is good okay but people just feel like giving hate speech left right center people just feel like to amplify things when things is not even necessary just spread misinformation so I'm going to put a picture here for you guys to understand where I'm coming from. I'm going to read Yemi Alade's reply on this particular tweet. Apparently, she posted a picture on her Twitter account on this particular picture here. And someone immediately just like gave her a very hate speech. Guys, one thing that really got me proud of Yemi Alade was the way she responded to this particular um, tweet. Okay, and it goes like this. According to the blogger, singer Yemi Alade blasts a fan who tried zooming her recent picture or photo for tolling. This pic was posted three minutes ago and that was enough for you to zoom and tweet your ignorance. 
Imagine if you pay attention to the details of your life in this manner, you would, you would be in a better place by now. It's open on both sides, since that area is your business too. That was Yemi Alade's reply. And I'm so proud because at this point I'm like, are you guys crazy? If you don't know fashion, shut up. If you are not into fashion, shut up. Or if you want to just throw his speech, if, or if you just want to express yourself, get facts, okay? So apparently, the ties she wore on this picture has like an opening in between her ties and it's on both sides. So it's not something like it is torn, you get. And I just feel like people just want to talk. People are just looking for money or people just want to, maybe they are, they are having a very bad day and they just saw this post and they're like, okay, let me just throw out my, <laughs> my frustration. On this picture you get because I really don't get it now the thing is this particular post has about three pictures so the, the, the ignorant or the stupid person forgot to even like slide to the next picture now when you're able to slide to the last picture you realize that that particular stocking is has an opening in between her legs so it has nothing to do with maybe it's torn or that is how it was designed so I just feel like people just feel like just talking anyhow on people just talk rubbish on social media and that is what caught my attention i just feel like when you're a public figure people just expect you to be perfect hell no we are not perfect i say you my you are bound to make mistakes even though in this case it's not a mistake even if you have to react to something at least get your facts right don't talk because you want to talk don't comment because you want to comment stop throwing hate on people social media can lead to the feeling of depression anxiety and loneliness i remember some time ago i put up a post like you know a video here on my channel and the title of my video had something to do with i don't know if it is lie lie like to sleep right so instead of putting ly i instead wrote i am l i e so someone commented in the comment section and it was like did you intentionally decide to spell lie instead of lie i did not reply i felt really bad because i expect people to realize that mistakes are bound to happen it is very very simple this person did not come from a place of reminding me to change you know to correct it he came from a place of you know reminding me of my errors those are two different things i have youtubers that i follow when they make errors like this these are grammatical errors it's bound to happen except you want to tell me you're a supernatural being what i do is i will immediately give them a text like hey we'll go and correct that mistake instead of writing you know step down you roll step up so just correct it that's the way to draw my attention that's the way to communicate to that person that hey it's just a grammatical error it's not a big deal but this this person came from a place of me you know making me feel like i don't know how to spell <laughs> like i don't know how to spell you can imagine and people came after him like hey brother be coming down imagine if i had no one you know backing me up i would feel lonely i went to her instagram account and i also saw the same reactions okay so there's this guy that wrote take off the clothes and carry it to the tailor to fix it it's so embarrassing like are you for real are you stupid are you stupid now it was a reply for me under these comments they are like poverty na disease <laughs> check all the slides na design like it's that simple you just see a picture and you draw conclusion how is it embarrassing is she your sister is she your your, your girlfriend is she your baby baby mama it's so embarrassing like, are you are you kidding me she's a star for goodness sake anyways another person goes to say hi bro that's just how the fabric was designed. It's that simple. Another one says, shame on you. Try the building. Try the buy lingerie for your woman. Okay. <laughs> now another one is advising that if you know lingeries, you will understand better. Because you don't buy them for your for, for your woman. You would have known the stocking is built like that. And the last one is Uncle, you're embarrassing yourself. Honestly, you are the one embarrassing yourself. You are the embarrassment, not Yemi Aladi. Because if you know these things, you will not be talking, you will not be running your mouth. If you are into fashion, you will not be running your mouth. Or if you are patient enough to, to look at all the slides, 
you will understand that this particular stocking that is how it was designed so i just feel like people just expect perfection from human beings meanwhile we know very well that we are bound to make mistakes these stars or these celebrities or these public figures they are humans and fashion is evolving okay if you want to see the real fashion go to america when it comes to grammy awards you will see fashion then you will see kinds of stockings <laughs> hey oh my god see you guys i just want us to communicate in the comment section let's talk about this because social media is becoming something else i mean people just want to throw hate speeches here left right center people just feel like when they see something they just want to pour out their frustration maybe they're having a frustrated day people are just intentionally when it comes to throwing hate speeches on people i just feel like people should do better people should use this platform to influence positively people should use this platform to educate to teach to express their creativity anyway guys so i love to know your opinions in the comment section okay and if you are a yemi alade fan please i'd love to know that in the comment section okay thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like share and all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in my next one bye